This is the location of a recent Purple Emperor sighting of a male, funny enough, down on the path here that I had fairly recently. I only got a limited video of it and had not close up, so I've never published it. You may well see a, a glimpse now as I talk about it here. And we're seeing another male Purple Emperor just along from this uh, spot here near the centre tree, just along the top path. I thought I would come and have another quarter of an hour just standing and looking upwards at the treetops. There's several purple hair streaks here, but no sign of purple emperor yet. But then all of a sudden, a large beetle came thudding down and landed on a grass head nearby. Said beetle is in here. And as I like to say, it's an absolute stonker. And I think I know what it is. And it's red, but it's not the red beetle you might be expecting. Now at the moment, I've only got in the pot photos because it's too lively. But you can see it's a, a reddish colour, almost a brownish red. As soon as it landed on the grass, I thought this is something good. And this appears to be a first record for the Sherwood Forest NNR. As far as I can ascertain from what I've seen so far, it's stick to leptura rubra. Now, that's a beetle with about three records in Nottingshire. One, I think, believe is Misson Carway. One is Fountaindale near Mansfield. Another is in the south of the county. It may well be a beetle that's just starting to move into Nottinghamshire. But it really is a super thing. And this looks like a female going by size-wise. But as you can see, it's too lively to risk taking it out of a pot and I need to take it home at least for a few hours or till tomorrow and sort out the identification properly without killing it I hasten to add and I want to try and get some photos of this but I need to get it settled down beforehand and here it is it's an absolutely stonking thing it ri I'm risking it by just putting it on this piece of umbella for this hogweed but uh, I don't really want to take it home I'd like to get a few photographs I'd be quite happy with a few photographs but what a super super long haul It's a very large longhorn as well, quite chunky or so. Females in general are larger than males, but I never expected to see this species. It's a stunning species. Much as I like green moths, I love red beetles. And although this isn't pillar box red in the way of the cardinal beetles, it's a super sort of brownish tawny red. The antenna are all black and the legs, the femur are all black on all six legs and then the tarsi and tibia all appear to be a light tan brown colour. Obviously the elytra is that beautiful red colour. And the pronotum is round and the same colour red. And then you've got the black head. What a super thing. I need to try and get some more photographs while you have a look. But today is quite interesting because 
I've been wandering around and I've done a couple of videos well sort of going on about the lack of insects of which there is no doubt there's a lack of insects everyone will accept that and yet still when there's not many insects about something like this comes along but it's a super thing it's one thing this forest does but there again any forest or woodland or habitat can do the same and that surprise you one day just out of the blue and that's pretty much how this chap turned up or this lady should I say just out of a, a blue sky dropped not quite at my feet but about two or three feet away quite often with invertebrates it's a case of just being in the right place at the right time and I certainly was for this what I believe is stick to leptura rubra a super long horn and a surprising long horn too No sign of any purple emperors. There's a red admiral down here looking for somewhere to egg lay. But star of the day for me is that new beetle for the Sherwood Forest NNR, Stictor Leptura rubra. A name that doesn't really trip off the tongue. Well, it sort of falls over mine, but the important thing is that the beetle was seen and it came completely out of the blue and ended up going back up into the blue because it fed on that hogweed flower for about five minutes while I was videoing it and taking some photographs and then the elytra opened, the wings came out and up and off it went. And I'm quite happy with that. I'm not bothered that my little pot is empty. The important thing is that I was here to record a fabulous species and a new species for the area. A very rare beetle in terms of Nottinghamshire Saran by Sea which as we all know are longhorn beetles but a fabulous example of a longhorn beetle it was.